Welcome back to the Compliance Kitchen Podcast. Uh, today I want to look at some revisions into the unverified list, which is the, uh, a list maintained by the BIS or the Bureau of Industrial Security. Uh, before we get to that, please note that uh, what you hear on Compliance Kitchen is not legal advice and it should not be uh, taken as such. Now, going to the revisions on the uh, UVL or the unverified list. Again, this is a list that's maintained by the Bureau of Industry and Security that sits inside the Commerce Department. So uh, about February 8th, uh, we got an update uh, from BIS uh, noting that they added 33 more entities to the list. Uh, they appear to be Chinese companies. Uh, the identifying information and names and address are available now on the list since they were added to the list. They were added on the basis that the BIS was unable to uh, verify their bona fides uh, because an end use check could not be satisfactorily completed uh, for reasons that were outside of the US government's control. Now, a little bit more on this uh, unverified list. Uh, again, this is a list that's maintained by the BIS and uh, it contains the names and addresses of foreign persons, uh, which would mean uh, individuals, but also companies who are or have been parties to a transaction involving uh, export, re-export or transfer of items that are subject to the EAR and whose bona fides, which means uh, information or in regards to their legitimacy and reliability uh, as to the end use and end user of the items controlled under EAR uh, has been, uh, the, the BIS has been unable to verify this information through an end use check. Now, if an entity is on this uh, unverified list, uh, license exceptions are not available for such entities. They're, they're not eligible for license exception. And even if an export license is not required, exporters must still obtain a unverified list statement uh, from the listed parties before they can proceed with exports, re-exports, or transfers of items that are controlled or subject to the EAR. Now, Couple of examples of the, the bona fides. Uh, what, what does it look like? So sometimes BIS uh, initiates and end use checks, but can't complete it because the foreign party uh, cannot be found at the address that was indicated on export documents and uh, BIS uh, is unable to locate the party uh, by other means like telephone or email. Or sometimes uh, BIS uh, can't conduct an end use checks uh, because the host government agencies are not responding to such requests or they are refusing to schedule uh, a check uh, timely or they are preventing the scheduling of uh, such an end use check. Or another example may be when a BIS uh, is trying to verify bona fides uh, and conduct an end use check and uh, the recipient of items that are subject to the EAR is unable to produce these items uh, for visual inspection or provide sufficient documentation or other evidence to confirm how these items were disposed. Sometimes you may have uh, foreign persons that are subject to end use checks are unable to demonstrate uh, their bona fides, and then that raises a concern about uh, the suitability of such individuals or companies as participants in future exports uh, or re-exports or, tr or transfers of uh, items that are controlled under the EAR. And then this indicates a risk that such items may be uh, diverted to prohibited end users or uh, prohibited end users. But BIS may not have sufficient information uh, to establish that such persons are involved uh, in activities that are described in Part 744 or 746 of the EAR. So they, are, they really cannot be placed on 
the entity list and in such circumstance BIS may uh, place them on the unverified list. Now, uh, when an entity is on an unverified list, uh, they may request, uh, there's a process to request a removal. And then that decision is of course made by, uh, the, uh, by the BIS, by the Deputy Assistant Secretary for Export Enforcement. And it, it depends on the demonstration uh, of the bona fides again. Uh, by the person that wants to be removed from the list. So with that little background on, on this list, again, if you want to take a look at the uh, companies that have been added recently, head over to uh, the BIS website uh, and uh, you can see the updated unverified list there for uh, your review. Mm -hmm.